guy. And the girl. And the orange hats. <laughs> and we are traveling on an antique car tour today. We were invited by some friends to tag along with them. It's a beautiful fall day. We're on our way up to Climatum into the spillway. Beautiful fall colors. Glad you decided to come along with us. And we hope you enjoy the ride. We're traveling this morning with the Pittsburgh region of the Ford Early V8 Club. We were invited to come on a tour with them. We don't have an early Ford V8, so we're driving the Challenger. But it's a beautiful fall morning. The colors are really starting to change nicely. The weather is perfect. Looks like it's going to be a really beautiful day. Traveling up Route 19 right now. Heading towards Pimatuma. I'm going to go up and see where the ducks walk on fish. Wasn't real sure what this fall was going to be like, as dry as everything was. And then we got a whole bunch of rain as everything started to change. So I was afraid everything was going to just turn brown and fall off the trees, but colors are really, really pretty. After a couple years of not having nice falls, this one is really turning out to be nice. Mercer County Courthouse. At this point north of Mercer, we're pretty much running parallel to the old Bessemer Railroad. Uh, now it's Canadian National. And the only regular train that it sees on a daily basis is uh, the two ore trains, one loaded, one empty. And from the timing, it's pretty unlikely that we'll get to see it. But hey, you never know. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get lucky. One of these times that we're by the tracks, maybe we'll get to see a train. But if not, oh well. It's a nice, pleasurable ride. Having a good time going to get to spend some time with some friends. Hope you're enjoying it.
that McCormick Deering 1020 back there like that was almost kind of heartbreaking. But better as lawn art than in the scrapyard, so I have to give them some credit for that. The Canadian National Line over there used to be the Bessemer in Lake Erie. And a lot of the overpasses and tunnels, you can still see a Bessemer sign. Hopefully we'll get to see one at some point. was mistaken. That's the Norfolk Southern Meatville line. Kind of interesting that they've used a torsion bar from a Mopar suspension as part of their rebar in the concrete. I was going to say the same thing. And also fairly unusual that you can see so much water. Being that it's off season and there's not many people here throwing bread, I guess uh, the fish just aren't as crowded here as they usually are. There's a little bit of activity over here that you can see the fish. But normally when you come here, in the middle of the summer when it's crowded, this will be so crowded with fish that the ducks can't touch the water. That's where they get the name for Pimatuming for the spillway is where the ducks walk on fish. A 1969 Corvette, 1961 Volvo, 1971 Dodge Challenger, 
1941 Ford two-door. 1956 Ford. Another 1946 Ford. And a 48 Ford convertible. Is that Dave's or is that somebody else's? No, that's uh, Dave has one like that. That's uh, Tom Hanks. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have a late arrival. This is a 36 Ford four-door. Beautiful car. This is Fireman's Beach at Conneaut Lake. Kind of tough to see from here on the cell phone video, but the yellow one there behind that white car was Uncle Bob's house. So this is where I grew up water skiing in the summer and riding snowmobiles on the ice in the winter. There's a Bessemer sign. We're going underneath the Canadian National Bessemer and Lake Erie. And we are going over the Norfolk Southern Meadville line. This is the Greenville Railroad Park, Wheeling and Lake Erie caboose, flat car turned into a picnic pavilion, Union Pacific caboose, a B&LE caboose, a B&LE ore car, and an O102 switcher engine. This side it is done as Union Railroad. There's a couple semaphores and we'll show you what the other side of this engine is done up as. And here is the other side done up as Duluth, Masabi and Iron Range. The history of this locomotive covers both of those railroads. As the DM and IR, it was 604. And as the Bessemer, it was 304. This ore car was built here in Greenville by the Greenville Steel Car Company. So this has local history as being built here and as operating on the main railroad that ran through here. Lots to see in this little park. Unfortunately, they're not open today, but we'll come up another day and do a full video.
hope you enjoyed riding along with us. Beautiful day, nice scenery, good friends, beautiful cars. Can't ask for a whole lot more than that. That's it for today. Catch you on the next one.